I'm Renee Rails. And I'm Dalton Lilly. And welcome to the July 2013 edition of Breaking the Law News, where we investigate victimless crimes and the everyday American lawbreaker. This month, chalk, tires, sparklers, fancy lighters, and naked women. What do they all have in common? I have no idea, Renee. Well, they're all a little more criminal. First up, chalk. You better think twice before you chalk a sidewalk. Just ask activist Jeff Olson of San Diego who faced up to 13 years in prison for writing anti-mega bank messages on a sidewalk. A jury just acquitted Olson even though the judge banned his attorney from mentioning free speech rights during his trial because his crime was considered vandalism. Wait, so First Amendment rights don't apply to chalk? Not only chalk, but a water-soluble chalk. Bank of America said it spent $6,000 clean up the $6, mess. $6,000? In what? Like Monopoly money? It's water soluble. Um, Dalton, I just uh, deliver the news. I don't make the news. Next up, the Sparkler Freedom Movement is underway in New York. No thanks to NYC Mayor Michael Bloomberg. He recently called on the governor to veto a bill that would legalize sparklers during the 4th of July holiday. Bloomberg says the popular tradition is dangerous to children and could wind up in the hands of terrorists. He says they could be used to light bombs. Look out! He's got a sparkler! <laughs> okay, back to the news. Uh, the NY Senate passed a bill that would ban novelty lighters. Some safety advocates claim these lighters could be dangerous to children, and the bill looks poised to become law. Oh, well, don't worry. We should all be safe now. A Missouri woman says she's prepared to go to jail after refusing to pay a citation for her tire garden. Her what garden? Her tire garden. She recycles old tires, paints them, and then uses them for planters in her garden. So what's the problem? Well, town officials say her garden could attract mosquitoes carrying the West Nile virus, so they find her. Got him. The woman says she's helping the environment out by recycling and remains steadfast in her quest to turn ugly tires into something attractive. Thank you to the cleanup crew who took care of the coffee. The Pink Pony, the sole strip club in the newly incorporated town of Brookhaven in Georgia, is suing the city in response to a recent zoning ordinance that would prohibit the club from having nude dancers. What? Uh, you heard me. The strippers would have to be stripless, putting the Pink Pony out of business. Further, the club, which has never received a citation, would not be allowed to serve alcohol. Hold on, Renee. This just in. Citizens of Brookhaven, due to sexual undertones, there will no longer be bases in baseball games. Irish pubs won't be serving bangers and mash, and it'll be illegal to take the top off of your convertible. I mean, seriously? All right, I'm done. That's all the time we have today. Thank you so much for joining us, and good luck keeping it legal. What the hell are you doing? I'm standing up for zoning rights. I'm Renee Rails with Breaking the Law. And I'm Dalton Lilly. See you next time. Hopefully with clothes on. <laughs>